Hey y'all, welcome to Word of Hannah. Welcome back if you're returning. So, you know they've been doing that full moon magic. I mean, it's been a whole bunch of people who have intentionally gone into like demonic energy or who are essentially like having a moment where they're like ripping the mask off and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have taken the mask off because I couldn't breathe under the, underneath that mask I was wearing. And he's just um, been doing like a lot of energy harvesting over the last couple of days. They may have even like came right out and asked you for your energy. Um, you may have found that people were like being more chatty with you than usual. Maybe they were trying to get in your energy and get you to um, converse with them and things like that. And if you pulled your energy away, then they were trying to get you to... Um, they will come right down and ask you for your energy, your light, your essence, your whatever. Um, for me, the answer is no. Um, and I definitely have been feeling for the last week or so that it was time for me to pull my energy back from certain people who were um, trying to like suck it up. Um, uh, and... Right when I made that decision, there was like some sort of like a little disagreement, some little squabble that took place. And I still don't know what it was about. It was so random that I wonder if it was like made up, like if they, if they were pretending or something like that. I don't know. It was so strange to me. But what was even more strange is how... um The moment I would respond to what took place and not from a standpoint of like getting in the middle of it because I don't, um, I don't have drama in my life. Um, one of the reasons is because I don't have a lot of people in my life, um, other than my daughter and, um, it's not like due to a lack of desire to have people because of course I want to have people in my life and things like that. But I want to have the right people. And um, and I stand on that firmly. So, and it's not from like an elitist or like a snobby, you know. It's, it's strictly about energy, vibration, spirit. And um, it's really not any deeper than that. And so... Um, There was like this weird reaction and I could tell like I immediately started getting that there were there was like some sort of like an intention to make things seem as though I was involved in the situation or that I played a part or something like that. And it was so not what was going on because like as far as where this situation took place, I don't even... Like, I talk to people, people talk to me, but I'm not part of a collective. I don't have... I don't... I'm going to put this. I don't respond to groupthink. I don't... I'm not attracted to that behavior. It doesn't matter. Like, and I've literally always been that way um i wish that some of the people who watch my channel who maybe went to high school with me specifically douglas bird would actually say like <laughs> if you know me and watch my channel i don't know why the fuck you wouldn't say something in the comments anyway um it's just one of those things where it's just like that's peculiar but um so I wish somebody from, from there would get in the comments and validate that because like I have literally always been like, I know my friends that are part of my little circle are saying, don't talk to these people over here, but I'm going to talk to who the fuck I want to talk to. And then, you know, they would definitely get mad at me and would definitely be like, oh, you talking to Lane, da, 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 da. And eventually after a while, it did lead to essentially me being like ostracized from that very group um 
but I didn't give a fuck then and not like from a standpoint of like it not having an effect on me but essentially it's like I just don't see the benefit in ostracizing isolating other people and I get the importance of being in a community and that's something that as an individual I've had to work on especially once I got the confirmation that it is something I needed to work on um, by reading my natal chart I did heal those parts of myself but it from a standpoint of recognizing like yes I do want and need to be part of a community but I don't need to be part of a group where individual thought is like punishable by social death and so it's that kind of shit where i'm just like mm -mm, it's not for me <laughs> um it's a no for me dog um so it doesn't back to the situation though it didn't make sense that these people were trying to like include me and they were like i could tell they were like exaggerating and then they kept calling my name i'm just like why um why are these people talking to me you know what i mean and there's people that i don't even talk to and who like deliberately don't talk to me type thing and i'm just like what's going on and that's where i started to get this this feeling like oh these people are trying to get me to take on their karma they want to get in my energy so they can have my energy and what it is that they see that I'm destined to have. And they want me to have their energy. Oh, fuck no. Um, and they just kept trying and trying. And it would be like a different person each day that was trying and shit. And I was just like, they want to get in my energy so fucking bad. And um, so you might have experienced that too. And it's okay to keep people at 50 feet especially when it's people who put you at 50 feet like for me I've had to find balance in the situation in terms of being like okay I'm going to be receptive to people and hold space for them to be like essentially to come around you know especially when it's people who are just like not receptive to anybody that's not exactly like them but that doesn't mean, it's like what I said in the video, I think two weeks ago. Yeah, where I talked about people like changing and, and seeing things differently and um, being receptive to you now and all this, that and third. Like I've talked about this before, but some of them are genuine and then some of them are the ones who are just trying to get in your energy and it's intentional. And what else I picked up on is not only is the person who's related to the harem having Leo, I think that's his brother. I don't think it's his cousin. I think it's I think it's his brother. So and I think he sent him. I think that this is someone um who these are people rather who are like feeding each other information so that they'll know how to go about trying to get into the energy of people who are of the light. And so I think that this is a situation like um, what other channelers may be talking about where it's like they really are sitting up here and they have like this little network and they're communicating with each other about how to go about like attacking you, trying to get in your energy trying to affect your energy, what things to say about you, what things to do to you. And I think that for those of you who have resonated with the, you know, super sex charged harem having um, superficial, these individuals who you know may do like sex magic and stuff like that. I think these people also sent these people... Um, by way of either directly doing it, paying them to do it, or putting them under a spell to get them to do certain things on their behalf because this is someone who isn't around you. This is someone who has other things to do, but they like to set traps. So one of the traps that they're setting is to try and catch you. And um, they need people to help them do it. And so these are the people who they, who he's having help do it. And... Um,
I think that the harem having Leo, I think he like sent his half brother or, you know, for some of you, even if it's not a Leo, if it's like a family member or a close friend, I think they sent that person to come and try and like seduce you, get into your energy, try to get, you know, as much intel about you as possible so that they'll know how to go about um, trying to get you in a position that they want you to be in so they can do whatever it is that they're sneaking around trying to do, um, which I think is just, I think they're really just trying to like take your, um, your destiny. I, I think that these people think that they are capable of stealing someone's destiny. Um, they're not though like that's not that's not a thing um, yeah the yeah he did he sent a family member to like gain um To try and get in your good graces. So this is someone who they wanted to have. <laughs> I'm getting so much. So this is someone that they wanted to pretend to be like perfect for you. But this is someone who you immediately got an energy about. Like this person knew you like because of how far this individual goes to stalk you. They knew you were going to be where you were when you met them. They knew you were going to be there. They knew what you look like. They knew everything. And it was just a matter of just them sitting and waiting for you to show up. But you uh, more than likely didn't like their energy. And then over time, this person started trying to like, trying to like win you over and trying to essentially get into your good graces. And, um... Maybe you've been letting them, but this is still someone like you still can't trust this person. And it's because this person was sent to you to do something to try and set you up for the okie doke or whatever. And this isn't someone um, like this person is your opposition. 